My father used to love boxing. My father passed when I was younger. Boxing was just something that got made me feel close to him. And now Joseph Hicks is really close to living his dream, competing for Team USA in the Olympics this summer. And believe it or not, he started boxing just seven years ago. My mom wouldn't let me do it because it's a violent sport, you know. Uh, so when I was old enough to do it, I decided to do it and I always want to be just the best at it. Hicks is a middleweight boxer at 165 pounds. He trains hard here at Team Glass Boxing in Lansing with his soon-to-be father-in-law, Willie Glass. Joe has a lot of great potential and qualities as a fi fighter or boxer. He kind of underestimates his skill or abil abilities at times, mm -hmm. but I think he's got all the tools to be a great fighter. <laughs> Tattoo artist Sean Farr has also had to battle himself. I used to be in a bad situation selling drugs and fighting and playing with guns and everything and I changed my life and turned it completely around and it took a lot of struggle and a lot of fight. I'm getting my tattoo uh, to represent my struggle with addiction. Struggled majority of my life with addiction starting from a young age when I had my knee surgeries. Uh, when I was introduced to opiates, and it became a, a lifelong struggle. Right in sight, so, you know, it's constantly going to see it. We'd like to represent peace and tranquility, and the Alphorn is just the instrument for that. And my desire was to gather people together in the Midwest area and share our love of the music. As a result, it's grown and grown. And uh, now we have an Elkhorn retreat and we have 27 people come. We've been doing this for 11 years now. Washing your car is just one of the things Hagen Mahoney is offering to do for seniors or those with mobility issues in the greater Lansing area. It all started after a trip to the grocery store. We were driving coming back from Myers, the Bath Myers, um, and um, I saw an old lady mowing her lawn and stuff, and she looked pretty old and like looked like she was like struggling. The 11 year old remembered a Bible verse about helping your neighbors, so the next day. We left a note at her door. Um, saying that I could help her if she needed any of it, if she needed any help. Mowing, washing a car, climbing a ladder, yard work, those are just some of the things Hagen is ready to help with. But unlike most people offering assistance, he wants to do it all for free. Why? I just really like to help people. He's super compassionate. He loves the Lord and he just loves to help out in the community in any way he can. My life I love, let me keep it I pray. To lose my hair is a very small price to pay. In 1998, on her way to work one day, 34-year-old Cynthia Ritchie collapsed. For the next 11 days, she was fighting for herself and I had no clue what was going on. Her organs were failing. When she came to, doctors said her life on earth was likely over. And immediately my mind went to afterlife and who I would see in heaven when I got there. It was stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. With expectations that Cindy would soon pass away, doctors asked her husband Tom if he'd sign off on a trial drug. But first, they wanted to know, does she have faith and is she a fighter? And he said yes to both. For six months, Cindy's hope, her husband, and her church community helped get her through. And then, a miracle. The doctor was astonished that when they ran me through the gallium scan that there was no sign of cancer. I'm bald now, a sight to see, less of it and more of me. One of the things that helped me get through a lot of the almost like a post-traumatic stress syndrome of after chemotherapy was to write. She wrote about trusting in the Lord, losing her hair, the pain of chemo, and the heartbreak of learning that because of the treatment, her body would never bear children. A friend published those poems, and Cindy's book is now helping cancer fighters in hospitals in mid-Michigan and all over the country.